This is part 17 of WCF video series. In this video, we'll discuss unhandled exceptions in WCF. This is continuation to part 16, so please watch part 16 from the WCF video series before proceeding with this video. An unhandled exception in the WCF servers will cause the communication channel to fault and the session will be lost. Once the communication channel is in faulted state, we cannot use the same instance of the proxy class anymore. We'll have to create a new instance of the proxy class. Let's understand this with an example. Let's flip to Visual Studio. We'll be using the same calculator service that we worked with in the previous session of this video series. So here we have a very simple calculator service that's going to divide two numbers. And then if you look at the application configuration file here, the binding that we're using at the moment is basic HTTP binding. And if you recollect in the previous session, we have also set the security mode to none for WS HTTP binding. So for the time being, let's go ahead and comment this section right here. And then the client for this calculator service is going to be a Windows application. If you recollect in the previous session, we have built a client application for the calculator service, but this application is a web application. Now, in this demo, we are going to make use of a Windows application as the client for the calculator service. And in a bit, we'll understand why we're using Windows client rather than uh, a web application. So just to speed things up, I already have created a Windows Forms application. So on the form I have got two labels where we have specified numerator and denominator, two text box controls, a button and a label control to display uh, the result of division. And you know I have already added a reference to calculator service and when we click this divide button what we are doing here is basically retrieving the numerator value from the first text box, denominator value from the second text box, converting them into integers and then storing in the respective variables. And finally we are invoking the divide method um, of the proxy class and then passing in the numerator and denominator, converting the result to a string and then setting that result as the text within the label control. And if you look at this client reference variable here, it's actually an instance of calculator service client. So within the constructor of this form one, we are creating a new instance of our calculator service client. Okay, so straightforward um, in our code here. All right, at this point, let's actually go ahead and run our calculator service. And then let's run this Windows client and actually, before we do that, since we have changed the configuration within our calculator service, let's go ahead and update the service reference. And now, let's go ahead and run the client itself. And keep in mind, for the calculator service, at the moment, we're using a basic HTTP binding. Okay, now, look at this, when we enter number 10 as the numerator, to as the denominator, click divide, so we get the output that we expect, okay? Now, if we pass zero as denominator and when we click divide, what's going to happen? The calculator service is going to throw an exception. What kind of exception is it going to throw? Divide by zero exception. And within our service, we are not handling that exception. So that is an uncaught exception. So what is this uncaught exception going to do to our WCF service? Basically, it's going to fault the server channel. And then if there are any sessions uh, with that server channel, you know, that session will also be ripped down. Okay, so at the moment we are using basic HTTP binding. So when we click divide, so look at that, we get that exception message back because within our Windows client, what we are doing, if there is a fault exception, uh, we are retrieving the message out of it and then displaying within the label. So that's why we are looking at that exception message there. And then look at this, when I try to divide 10 by 5, when I click this divide, look at that, it still works fine without any problem. But then what did we discuss here? An unhandled exception in the WCF service will cause the communication channel to fault and the session will be lost. Once the communication channel is in faulted state, we cannot use the same instance of the proxy class anymore. We'll have to create a new instance of the proxy class. But if you look at our Windows client code here, 
Look at this, when the form is initialized, that's when we are creating an instance of our calculator client. And, you know, when we click this button, you know, we're using the same proxy instance, okay? But then here, we are saying, you know, once the communication channel is in faulted state, we cannot use the same instance of the proxy class anymore. But with basic HTTP binding, we are able to use the same instance of the proxy class. So, why is that happening? Because we expect, you know, the same proxy class not to work with, with when the communication channel is faulted. That's because basic HTTP binding does not have sessions. So when there is an unhandled exception, it only faults the server channel. The client proxy is still okay because with basic HTTP binding, the server channel is not maintaining any sessions. And when the client calls again, it's not expecting the channel to maintain any session. So that's why here the client proxy is okay with bi basic HTTP binding. Now let's change the binding of the service from basic HTTP binding to WS HTTP binding and see what's going to happen. So let's close the client that is running. Let's go to the calculator service and within the application configuration file, let's change the binding from basic HTTP binding to WS HTTP binding. That's the only change to the service. And let's actually stop the service host that's running and let's rerun the service host. And then let's flip to this Windows client, update the service reference. So now it should be using WS HTTP binding. Okay, and with this change, let's go ahead and run the client as well. So let's enter number 10. Let's divide that by two. So we should get number five, which is fine. Now let's pass zero. So the service is going to throw an exception and that exception is unhandled. So we get that attempted to divide by zero exception. Now let's try to divide this by five and click divide. Look at that. We get an unhandled exception. And if you look at the details here, notice that we get communication object faulted exception. So basically, you know, it has ripped down the channel as well as the session. And we are not able to use the same proxy class anymore. Look at this. At this point, no matter what you try to do, you get the same error. So communication object faulted exception. Okay. Now, this proxy class right here, this instance of the proxy class is no longer useful. We'll have to create a new instance of the proxy class. Now, before we do that, let's actually look at this text right here. WS HTTP binding have secure sessions. So when there is an unhandled exception, it faults the server channel. At this point, the existing client proxy is useless as it is also faulted because with WS HTTP binding, the channel is maintaining a secure session. And when the client calls again, it expects the channel to maintain the same session. The same session does not exist at the server channel anymore as the unhandled exception has already ripped down the channel and the session along with it. And that's what is exactly happening now. So when we click divide, look at that communication object faulted exception. Now, to overcome this problem, Let's actually create another, I mean, let's drag and drop another button control here. And then let's change the text on this button control to create a new proxy. And then let's increase the width of this button. And within the button click event handler, all we are going to do is create a new instance of this proxy class and then we are going to display a message using message box stating a new instance of the proxy class is created. All right, now let's go ahead and run the client application. So let's enter number 10, divide that by 2. So we should get number five. When we divide it by zero, we should get an exception. And when I try to divide it by one, we should get the terra communication object faulted exception. 
Now when we create a new proxy, what's going to happen? Look at that. We are assigning a new instance of our calculator service client to this reference variable. So, I mean, we are creating effectively a new instance of the proxy class. Now, let's click that button. So a new instance of the proxy class is created. Now when we try to divide it, look at that, we get the result as expected. But again, you know, if at all an exception has occurred, now if we try to use the same proxy, we get the same error. Communication object faulted exception. So the bottom line is whenever there is an unhandled exception, it's going to rip down the channel and then if the channel is maintaining any sessions, you know, the session information will also be lost. Okay. Now you may be wondering how can we solve this problem in reality? Now a WCF service should you know, whenever there is an exception, we should actually be handling that exception and returning a fault instead of an exception. Now, if at all, if there is an unhandled exception, the service thinks that, you know, something has gone terribly wrong and because of that, it's going to rip down the channel and it's going to take down any session information that the channel has got. Okay, and then, you know, the client proxy is no longer useful at that point of time. Okay, so in our next session, we'll see how to convert, you know, an exception into a SOAP fault and then return the SOAP fault. Okay, so when we return SOAP faults, it's not going to fault the server channel and it's not going to lose that session information there. We'll discuss that in our next video session. And if you're wondering why we are using a Windows client, you know, um, as the client for our calculator service instead of a web application. That's basically because if you look at our web application, what are we doing within the button click event? Every time we click the button, we are creating a new instance of the calculator service client. Okay, so with this web application, we, c we don't really see any difference. That's basically because every time we click the button, you know, we are creating a new instance of the calculator service client class. That's why it's it's going to work just fine without any problem. So let's say 10 divided by 2, we get number 5. And when we say 10 divided by 0, we get that exception. But when I try to divide it by 5 again, look at that, we get 2. Now here, everything is fine because every time we click this button, we are creating a new instance of the proxy class. All right. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.